What's up guys, welcome back to Crew Creeper. Today I'm going to talk about this guy, the leopard tortoise. All my life I've had passion for animals and nature all around us. From our scaly friends to the furry ones. Now follow me through my steps to become one of nature. You're watching Crew Creeper. So this is a very young small male, okay, so this guy is around 10 years old, they get much larger than this, An adult male can get up to about this size. Now at the moment there's two subspecies in South Africa, Geoshalone pardalis pardalis, that is the biggest species, then you get the Geoshalone pardalis babcocki, that is the smaller species. Now this is the bab babcocki. And they're the mostly found here in, in SA. The Pardalis is more found um, in the northern parts of Africa. But there's some of them that, that are found here in South Africa as well. Now tortoises have a unique way of storing water. They use their bursa. Um, and for that, because of that, they can go through the winter times. Now they say never pick up a tortoise during dry, dry periods because so normally they excrete the water and then they lose their moisture so they are most likely not going to survive the winter time. If you pick up a tortoise and it loses the water just release it in a nearby water body so that it can rehydrate and go off on its own. So an adult leopard tortoise's territory can exceed up to 40 hectares. That's quite wild and very big as well. So by finding, okay, there you guys can see. Now a unique thing about tortoises, the spinal cord is hooked onto the, onto the shell. Now this is quite a healthy tortoise. Now I can see that is it has a nice oval shape and a smooth feel to it. But your leopard tortoises are one of the tortoises that have natural pyramiding. That's when the scutes basically form a pyramid. Now they say your leopard tortoises um, grow these because in, in Africa there's a lot of predators like lions and hyenas um, even leopards now they use these guys as quite of enrichment like playing with a ball for instance now whenever they fall onto the onto the shell parts with this with this pyramid they can basically just push themselves back up but they do sometimes use their legs as well but it's not always efficient now in Afrikaans it's called a bergskulpat um, directly, directly translated to English, it's a mountain tortoise. Now these guys do favor rocky mountains and rocky outcrops like this for instance. As you guys can see there's a lot of rocks. I'll just put a picture as well of the type of terrain you, you can find them. But they're found in, in most terrains in, in Africa, but they prefer the more, more warmer areas where there's a, lot of, a bit more, more rainfall. Now it's a very, very unique species. As you guys can see, it has a little bit of a rough, rough skin. Now this protects them from predators trying to um, bite them or get into, into the, the body itself. As you guys can see, it's flat on the bottom that protects the hind leg so that can retract. Now the difference between the three Shalonians we have in Africa, the first of all is your tortoises, then your terrapins. Your terrapins are the fresh living water species then you get your sea turtles that is sea living turtles can't retract any limbs your terrapins they can and but they are side necks so they retract the heads to the side but your tortoises can retract every body part as you guys can see over here so whenever they get irritated they pull their head back as far as possible because the head is the most vulnerable part now that um, their main food item is grass because they they favor they favor a high fiber diet but they will occasionally eat some figs and leaf matter as well things to build up their moisture you are such an amazing creature hope you guys liked this video please like and subscribe then i'll see you next time cheers for now